It's been said over the years by many that the God of the Old Testament mm. is different to the God of the New Testament. Yeah. Yeah. And my answer to people who say that is, have you ever read the Bible? And I understand what they're trying to say. The answer, the sorry, the the statement is often summed up is the, the God of the Old Testament is an angry God who's always waving a stick at us and waiting for us just to step out of line before he thwacks us. And in the New Testament, we get Jesus who comes along with his message of, you know, why, why don't you believe in God and be nice to one another? And these two are poles apart. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. You know, there are two sides to God's character that I think we in the modern West in particular find hard to hold together. We love that side of God is love. We're not so keen on the side of God is holy and has certain requirements. But you know what? You can find both of those in both Testaments. So one of my favourite passages in the Old Testament is when Moses goes up the mountain to meet with God, Exodus 34, 6 and 7, and God himself reveals his nature to Moses. The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion and sin. Wow, what a gracious God. Now let me take you to the New Testament and Jesus' own teaching at the end of the parable of the of the servants who failed to use their talents wisely. Take that worthless servant and throw him out into the outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. There you've got the very opposite of what you've suggested some people think the Bible says. You see, both sides can be found. These are not two different gods. These are not two different stories. Actually, the whole of the New Testament is the continuation, the completion, the fulfilment of the story that that one same God began in the Old Testament. So I don't find any disparity between the two Testaments at all. And any supposed conflict of pictures of what God is like simply fails to read the text and let it speak for itself in all its breath in both of the Testaments.